How to create custom product options for customizable products on Shopify without any third-party apps. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a customizable product, like a customizable name t-shirt, a customizable mug, and how you can add the custom field where customers can insert the name that they want to use in the product or any type of customization offering like a keychain customization for your particular product. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that we are going to do is we are going to create our customizable product. To do this, simply directly go into product on the left of your Shopify dashboard. Then click on add product. Once you click on add product, you're going to insert a title for your product. So this is going to be custom name mug. And then you're going to write a description. Now a description is a really important part, especially when you are creating customizable products because people need to know what the product is what type of details should they be expecting what is and is not going to be included within your product offering you can even simplify this by clicking on the sparkly icon to further create a cohesive description with a couple of keywords so i'm going to write ceramic customizable and i'm also going to add ceramic customizable long lasting and then I can just click on generate over here and my product description will be generated. Once you've done that, click on upload new to upload media files. So I am just going to take a simple mug image like this and we are just going to save the image as it is. Once done, I am just going to add this image file over here. So this is like a simple image that we have inserted. One other thing that I do recommend that you make sure to do is to add the section where the product customization placement is going to be. So if the product customization is on the center, on the top, on the top right. So if you want to display that and you aren't sure how to do that, simply go into Canva and then upload your image or just open so simply head on over to canva and create a portrait sized frame to do that just add a width of 10 and a height of 14 and convert that into inches so just open up a blank canvas like this and once you open up your blank canvas drag and drop your product image and once you add your product image you can expand the image like so to just resize it a little and obviously you want to make sure your product images are in higher quality. Then click on the text on the left and click on add a heading. From here, add custom text or another way that you can display the customization is your name. And then I'm just going to resize this and then place it on top of the mug where I would actually print out people's names. Like this, I am going to place it at the center like so. Then once I have done this, so I think it's, I'm going to place it like this and I can customize the font to the one that I would be using when I am going to be printing up. So let's say I'm using Open Sans for my printing. So I'm going to use that font over here because I want my product to look as to the actual finished product. Then click on share and download and then just download this as a PNG. Once this has been completed, you can upload this version into Shopify as well. Now below that, you are going to choose the pricing. So I'm going to set a price and you can also charge taxes, add a cost per item. Your cost per item profits and margins won't be displayed to your customers. These are just there to help you in keeping track of your profits and profit margins. You can also choose to track the quantity of your product as well as add a option to continue selling when out of stock if you expect your products to be restocked. Then you can also add the physical weight. This is super helpful in setting up shipping rates as well as variants. So for our product, I don't have any variants. If you are offering variants, even within customizable products, you can add variant options like sizes, colors, materials, and styles over here. Now I'm just going to click on save on the bottom. And once we have saved our product, it's time to actually create the customizable option because you still might be wondering, hey, how is this customizable? Well, for this, simply go into online store on the left, 
Then once you go into online store on the left, click on customize. Once you click on customize on the top home page section, you're going to click on products and then select the default product. By default, this product might appear if there is a different product that appears instead of the one that is customizable. Just click on change on the top left panel over here and select the customizable product. Now over here, you're going to click on add block and then you're going to click on custom liquid. Now, once you add a custom liquid block, you're going to paste in a liquid code from here. I will leave a link to this in the description box down below. And from here, you can customize the type of uh, field that you want. So on the right, this is going to display how your field is going to look like. And from here, you can set up the field. So this is going to be short text. And then uh, my field label will be your name. And then the character limit. So I can't print, let's say I don't print more than 12 uh, characters. And I am going to make this a required field. Then I'm going to copy this. Now, once we've done that, I'm going to go back into our store. And then I'm going to paste this in. Once I have pasted this in, I can go back and it should appear over here. Now, once I go back into the default product view on the left, I will select this option and then move it up because I like to place this right under the price. Now, for some people, they might have a error where although they have correctly copied and pasted the code, uh, the field is not going to show up in your preview. So if you're having that particular issue, click on your buy buttons on the left. Once you do that, uncheck the dynamic checkout buttons. Usually, if you have a buy it now button, it can interfere with the code of this custom liquid and your field won't appear. So remove the instant checkout button and your field will then appear. Then click on save over here and voila, you have a custom product button that is simple, easy. You don't have to download any third party applications and I'll show you guys what this looks like in action. So this is the product. I can ins insert the name that I want to print on my mug. Let's say this is a mug for a lily. I can click on add to cart. Then I can go into checkout and you will see uh, the mug and the your name section will appear over here. Then if I proceed, when I receive an order in my orders, it will have the custom text field option inserted into it. So when I am, you know, producing out my orders, I know which order has which particular name to be printed on its mug. And just like that, we have now learned how to build customizable products. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Shopify or any other platform, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.